Section 21 of English Synonyms and Antonyms. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. This recording by Amy Benton. English Synonyms and Antonyms by James Champlin Fernall. Delightful to Difference. Delightful. Synonyms. Acceptable. Agreeable. Congenial. Delicious, grateful, gratifying, pleasant, pleasing, pleasurable, refreshing, satisfying, welcome. Agreeable refers to whatever gives a mild degree of pleasure, as an agreeable perfume. Acceptable indicates a thing to be worthy of acceptance, as an acceptable offering. Grateful is stronger than agreeable or gratifying indicating whatever awakens a feeling akin to gratitude a pleasant face and pleasing manners arouse pleasurable sensations and make the professor an agreeable companion if possessed of intelligence vivacity and goodness such a person's society will be delightful criminals may find each other's company congenial but scarcely delightful satisfying denotes anything that is received with calm acquiescence as substantial food or established truth that is welcome which is received with joyful heartiness as welcome tidings compare beautiful charming delicious antonyms depressing disappointing distressing hateful horrible melancholy miserable mournful painful saddening woeful wretched delusion synonyms error fallacy hallucination illusion phantasm a delusion is a mistaken conviction an illusion a mistaken perception or inference an illusion may be wholly of the senses a delusion always involves some mental error in an optical illusion, the observer sees either what does not exist, or what exists otherwise than as he sees it, as when in a mirage distant springs and trees appear close at hand. We speak of the illusions of fancy or of hope, but of the delusions of the insane. A hallucination is a false image or belief which has nothing outside of the disordered mind to suggest it as the hallucinations of delirium tremens. Compare deception, insanity, antonyms, actuality, certainty, fact, reality, truth, verity. Demolish, synonyms, destroy, overthrow, overturn, raise, ruin. A building, monument, or other structure is demolished when reduced to a shapeless mass. It is raised when leveled to the ground. It is destroyed when its structural unity is gone, whether or not its component parts remain. An edifice is destroyed by fire earthquake, it is demolished by bombardment, it is ruined when, by violence or neglect, it has become unfit for human habitation. Compare abolish, break, antonyms, build, construct, create, make, repair, restore demonstration synonyms certainty conclusion consequence deduction evidence induction inference proof demonstration in the strict and proper sense is the highest form of proof and gives the most absolute certainty but cannot be applied outside of pure mathematics or other strictly deductive reasoning there can be proof and certainty however, in matters that do not admit of demonstration. A conclusion is the absolute and necessary result of the admission of certain premises. An inference is a probable conclusion, toward which known facts, statements, or admissions point, but which they do not absolutely establish. Sound premises, together with their necessary conclusion, constitute a demonstration. Evidence is that which tends to show a thing to be true, in the widest sense, as including self-evidence or consciousness. It is the basis of all knowledge. 
proof in the strict sense is complete irresistible evidence as there was much evidence against the accused but not amounting to proof of guilt moral certainty is a conviction resting on such evidence as puts a matter beyond reasonable doubt while not so irresistible as demonstration compare hypothesis induction design synonyms aim device end final cause intent intention object plan project proposal purpose scheme design refers to the adaptation of means to an end the correspondence and coordination of parts or of separate acts to produce a result intent and purpose overleap all particulars and fasten on the end itself intention is simply the more familiar form of the legal and philosophical intent plan relates to details of form structure and action in themselves design considers these same details all as a means to an end the plan of the campaign may be for a series of sharp attacks with the design of thus surprising and overpowering the enemy a man comes to a fixed intention to kill his enemy he forms a plan to entrap him into his power with the design of then compassing his death as the law cannot read the heart it can only infer the intent from the evidences of design intent denotes a straining stretching forth towards an object purpose simply the placing it before oneself hence we speak of the purpose rather than the intent or intention of god we hold that the remarks of design of nature prove it the work of a great designer intention contemplates the possibility of failure purpose looks to assured success intent or intention refers especially to the state of mind of the actor purpose to the result of the action compare aim cause idea model prepositions the design of defrauding the design of a building a design for a statue desire synonyms appetency appetite aspiration concupiscence coveting craving hankering inclination longing proclivity propensity wish inclination is the mildest of these terms it is a quiet or even a vague or unconscious tendency but when we speak of a strong or decided inclination we do not express the intensity of desire desire has a wide range from the highest objects to the lowest desire is for an object near at hand or near in thought and viewed as attainable a wish may be for that which is remote or uncertain or even for what is recognized as impossible craving is stronger than hankering hankering may be the result of a fitful capricious appetite craving may be the imperious and reasonable demand of the whole nature longing is a reaching out with a deep persistent demand for that which is viewed as now distant but at some time attainable as the captives longing for release coveting ordinarily denotes wrong desire for that which is another's compare appetite antonyms see synonyms for antipathy prepositions the desire of fame a desire for excellence dexterity synonyms adroitness aptitude cleverness expertness readiness skill adroitness french a ah, to and droit right and dexterity latin dexter right right hand might each be rendered right-handedness but adroitness carries more of the idea of eluding parrying or checking some hostile movement or taking advantage of another in controversy dexterity conveys the idea of doing accomplishing something readily and well without reference to any action of others we speak of adroitness in fencing boxing or debate of dexterity in horsemanship in the use of tools weapons etc aptitude latin aptus fit or fitted is a natural readiness which by practice may be developed into dexterity skill is more exact to line rule and method than dexterity dexterity cannot be communicated and oftentimes cannot even be explained by its possessor 
skill, to a very great extent, can be imparted. Skilled workmen in various trades are numbered by thousands. Compare address, clever, power, skillful. Prepositions, dexterity of hand, of movement, of management, with the pen, in action, in manipulating men, at cards. Diction, synonyms, expression, language, phrase, phraseology, style, verbiage, vocabulary, wording. An author's diction is strictly his choice and use of words, with no special reference to thought. Expression regards the word simply as the vehicle of the thought. Phrase and phraseology apply to words or combinations of words which are somewhat technical, as in legal phraseology, in military phrase. Diction is general, wording is limited. We speak of the diction of an author or of a work, the wording of a proposition, of a resolution, etc. Verbiage never bears this sense. See circumlocution. The language of a writer or speaker may be the national speech he employs, as the English or French language, or the word may denote his use of that language, as the author's language is well or ill chosen. Style includes diction, expression, rhetorical figures such as metaphor and simile, the effect of an author's prevailing tone of thought, of his personal traits, in short, all that makes up the clothing of thought in words. Thus we speak of a figurative style, a frigid or an argumentative style, etc., or of the style of Macaulay, Prescott, or others. An author's vocabulary is the range of words which he brings to his use. Compare language. Die. Synonyms. Cease. Decease. Decline. Depart. Expire. Fade. Perish. Wither. Die. To go out of life. Become destitute of vital power and action is figuratively applied to anything which has the appearance of life. Where the dying night lamp flickers. Tennyson, Locksley Hall, stanza 40. An echo, a strain of music, a tempest, a topic, an issue, dies. Expire, literally to breathe out, is a softer word for die. It is used figuratively of things that cease to exist by reaching a natural limit as a lease expires, the time has expired. To perish, literally in Latin, to go through, as in English we say the fire goes out, is oftenest used of death by privation or exposure, as in I perish with hunger. Luke 15.7 Sometimes of death by violence. Knowledge and fame, art and empires may be said to perish. The word denotes utter destruction and decay. Antonyms. Be born. Begin. Be immortal. Come into being. Come to life. Exist. Flourish. Grow. Live. Rise again. Rise from the dead. Survive. Prepositions. To die of fever. By violence. Rarely. With the sword. Famine. Etc. Ezekiel 7.15. To die for one's country. To die at sea in one's bed, in agony, to die to the world. Difference. Synonyms. Contrariety. Contrast. Disagreement. Discrepancy. Discrimination. Disparity. Dissimilarity. Dissimilitude. Distinction. Divergence. Diversity. Inconsistency. Inequality. Unlikeness. Variation. Variety. Difference is the state or quality of being unlike or the amount of such unlikeness. A difference is in the things compared. A discrimination is in our judgment of them. A distinction is in our definition or description or mental image of them. Careful discrimination of real differences results in clear distinctions. Disparity is stronger than inequality, implying that one thing falls far below another as the disparity of our achievements when compared with our ideals. Dissimilarity is between things sharply contrasted. There may be a difference between those almost alike. There is a discrepancy in accounts that fail to balance. Variety involves more than two objects, so, in general, does diversity. 
Variation is a difference in the condition or action of the same object at different times. Disagreement is not merely the lack, but the opposite of agreement. It is a mild word for opposition and conflict. Difference is sometimes used in the same sense. Antonyms Agreement Consonance Harmony Identity Likeness Resemblance Sameness Similarity Uniformity Unity Prepositions Difference between the old and the new Differences among men a difference in character, of action, of style, less frequently. A difference, controversy, with a person. A difference of one thing from, incorrectly, to another. End of section 21. Of English synonyms and antonyms. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Kate McKenzie. English Synonyms and Antonyms by James Champlin Fernald. Difficult to Dogmatic. Difficult. Synonyms. Arduous, exhausting, hard, laborious, onerous, severe, toilsome, trying. Arduous, from the Latin arduus, steep, signifies primarily so steep and lofty as to be difficult of ascent, and hence applies to that which involves great and sustained exertion, and ordinarily for a lofty aim. Great learning can only be won by arduous toil. Hard applies to anything that resists our endeavours as a scarcely penetrable mass resists our physical force. Anything is hard that involves tax and strain, whether of the physical or mental powers. Difficult is not used of that which merely taxes physical force. A deadlift is called hard rather than difficult. Breaking stone on the road would be called hard rather than difficult work. That is difficult which involves skill, sagacity, or address, with or without a considerable expenditure of physical force. A geometrical problem may be difficult to solve, a tangled skein to unravel, a mountain difficult to ascend. Hard may be active or passive. A thing may be hard to do or hard to bear. Arduous is always active. That which is laborious or toilsome simply requires the steady application of labour or toil till accomplished. Toilsome is the stronger word. That which is onerous, from the Latin onus, a burden, is mentally burdensome or oppressive. Responsibility may be onerous, even when it involves no special exertion. Antonyms. Easy. Facile. Light. Pleasant. Slight. Trifling. Trivial. Direction. Synonyms. Aim. Bearing. Course. Inclination. Tendency. Way. The direction of an object is the line of motion or a vision toward it, or the line in which the object is moving, considered from our own actual or mental standpoint. Way, literally the road or path, comes naturally to mean the direction of the road or path. Conversationally, way is almost a perfect synonym of direction, as, which way did he go, or in which direction? Bearing is the direction in which an object is seen with reference to another, and especially with reference to the points of the compass. Course is the direction of a moving object. Inclination, that toward which a stationary object leans. Tendency, the direction towards which anything stretches or reaches out. Tendency is stronger and more active than inclination. Compare, aim, care, order, oversight. Discern, synonyms, behold, descry, discriminate, distinguish, observe, perceive, recognize, see. What we discern, we see apart from all other objects. What we discriminate, we judge apart. What we distinguish, we mark apart, or recognize by some special mark or manifest difference. We discriminate by real differences. We distinguish by outward signs. An officer is readily distinguished from a common soldier by his uniform. Objects may be dimly discerned at twilight, when yet we cannot clearly distinguish one from another. We descry, originally espy, what is difficult to discover. Compare, discover, look. Discover, synonyms. Ascertain, descry, detect, discern, disclose, expose, ferret out, find, find out, invent. Of human actions or character, detect is used, almost without exception, in a bad sense. Discover may be used in either the good or the bad sense, oftener in the good. He was detected in a fraud. Real merit is sure to be discovered. In scientific language, detect is used of delicate indications that appear in course of careful watching, as a slight fluttering of the pulse could be detected. We discover what has existed, but has not been known to us. We invent combinations or arrangements not before in use. 
Columbus discovered America, Morse invented the electric telegraph. Find is the most general word for every means of coming to know what was not before certainly known. A man finds in the road some stranger's purse, or finds his own which he is searching for. The expert discovers or detects an error in an account. The auditor finds the account to be correct. Compare, discern. Antonyms, see synonyms for hide. Disease, synonyms, affection, ailment, complaint, disorder, distemper, illness, indisposition, infirmity, malady, sickness, unhealthiness, unsoundness. Disease is the general term for any deviation from health. In a more limited sense, it denotes some definite morbid condition. Disorder and affection are rather partial and limited as a nervous affection, a disorder of the digestive system. Sickness was generally used in English speech and literature, till the close of the 18th century at least, for every form of physical disorder, as abundantly appears in the English Bible. Jesus went about healing all manner of sickness and all manner of disease among the people. From Matthew chapter 4 verse 23. Elisha was fallen sick of his sickness whereof he died. From 2 Kings chapter 8 verse 14. There is now, in England, a tendency to restrict the words sick and sickness to nausea, or sickness at the stomach, and to hold ill and illness as the only proper words to use in a general sense. This distinction has received but a very limited acceptance in the United States, where sick and sickness have the earlier and wider usage. We speak of trifling ailments, a slight indisposition, a serious or a deadly disease, a slight or severe illness, a painful sickness. Complaint is a popular term, which may be applied to any degree of ill health, slight or severe. Infirmity denotes a chronic or lingering weakness or disability, as blindness or lameness. Antonyms, health, robustness, soundness, strength, sturdiness, vigour. Disparage, synonyms, belittle, carpat, decry, depreciate, derogate from, detract from, discredit, dishonour, lower, underestimate, underrate, undervalue. To decry is to cry down, in some noisy public or conspicuous manner. A witness or a statement is discredited. The currency is depreciated. A good name is dishonoured by unworthy conduct. We underestimate in our own minds. We may underrate or undervalue in statement to others. These words are used, with few exceptions, of things such as qualities, merits, attainments, etc. To disparage is to belittle by damaging comparison or suggestion. It is used only of things. A man's achievements are disparaged, his motives depreciated, his professions discredited. He himself is calumniated, slandered, etc. Compare, slander. Antonyms. See synonyms for praise. Displace. Synonyms. Confuse, crowd out, derange, disarrange, disturb, jumble, mislay, misplace, remove, unsettle. Objects are displaced when moved out of the place they have occupied. They are misplaced when put into a place where they should not be. One may know where to find what he has misplaced. What he has mislaid, he cannot locate. Antonyms. Adjust. Array. Assort. Classify. Dispose. Group. Order. Place. Put in order. Put in place. Set in order. Sort. Do. Synonyms. Accomplish. Achieve. Actualize. Bring about. Bring to pass. Carry out. Carry through. Commit. Complete. Consummate. Discharge, effect, execute, finish, fulfill, perform, perpetrate, realize, transact, work out. Do is the one comprehensive word which includes this whole class. We may say of the least item of daily work, it is done, and of the grandest human achievement, well done. Finish and complete signify to bring to an end what was previously begun. There is frequently the difference in usage that finish is applied to the fine details and is superficial while complete is comprehensive, being applied to the whole, ideal, plan, and execution, as to finish a statue, to complete a scheme of philosophy. To discharge is to do what is given in charge, expected or required, as to discharge the duties of the office. To fulfil is to do or to be what has been promised, expected, hoped, or desired, as a son fulfils a father's hopes. Realise, effect, execute, and consummate all signify to embody in fact what was before in thought one may realise that which he has done nothing to bring about. He may realise the dreams of youth by inheriting a fortune, but he cannot effect his early designs except by doing the utmost that is necessary to make them fact. Effect includes all that is done to accomplish the intent. Execute refers rather to the final steps. Consummate is limited quite sharply to the concluding act. An officer executes the law when he proceeds against his violators. 
A purchase is consummated when the money is paid and the property delivered. Execute refers more commonly to the commands of others. Effect and consummate to one's own designs, as the commander effected the capture of the fort, because his officers and men promptly executed his commands. Achieve, to do something worthy of achieve, signifies always to perform, some great and generally some worthy exploit. Perform and accomplish both imply walking towards the end, but perform always allows a possibility of not attaining, while accomplish carries the thought of full completion. In Longfellow's lines, patience, accomplished thy labour, etc., perform could not be substituted without great loss. As between complete and accomplish, complete considers rather the thing as done, accomplish the whole process of doing it. Commit, as applied to actions, is used only of those that are bad, whether grave or trivial. Perpetrate is used chiefly of aggravated crimes, or, somewhat humorously, of blunders. A man may commit a sin, a trespass, or a murder, perpetrate an outrage, or a felony. We finish a garment or a letter, complete an edifice of a life-work, consummate a bargain or a crime, discharge a duty, effect a purpose, execute a command, fulfil a promise, perform our daily tasks, realise an ideal, accomplish a design, achieve a victory. Compare, transact, transaction. Antonyms. Baffle. Come short. Defeat. Destroy. Fail. Frustrate. Mar. Miscarry. Miss. Neglect. Ruin. Spoil. Docile. Synonyms. Amenable. Compliant. Gentle. Manageable. Obedient. Pliable. Pliant. Submissive. Tame. Teachable. Tractable. Yielding. One who is docile is easily taught. One who is tractable is easily led. One who is pliant is easily bent in any direction. Compliant represents one as inclined or persuaded to agreement with another's will. Compare. Duty. Antonyms. Determined. Dogged. Firm. Inflexible. Intractable. Obstinate. Opinionated. Resolute. Self-willed. Stubborn. Willful. Unyielding. Doctrine. Synonyms. Article of belief. Article of faith. Belief. Dogma. Precept. Principle. Teaching. Tenet. Doctrine primarily signifies that which is taught. Principle, the fundamental basis on which the teaching rests. A doctrine is reasoned out and may be defended by reasoning. A dogma rests on authority as a direct revelation, the decisions of the church, etc. A doctrine or dogma is a statement of some one item of belief. A creed is a summary of doctrines or dogmas. Dogma has commonly, at the present day, an offensive signification, as of a belief arrogantly asserted. Tenet is simply that which is held, and is applied to a single item of belief. It is a neutral word, neither approving nor condemning. We speak of the doctrines of our own church, of the tenets of others. A precept relates not to belief, but to conduct. Compare. Faith. Law. Dogmatic. Synonyms. Arrogant. Authoritative. Dictatorial. Doctrinal. Domineering. Imperious. Magisterial. Opinionated. Overbearing. Positive self-opinionated, systematic. Dogmatic is technically applied in a good sense to that which is formally enunciated by adequate authority. Doctrinal to that which is stated in the form of doctrine to be taught or defended. Dogmatic theology, also called dogmatics, gives definite propositions, which it holds to be delivered by authority. Systematic theology considers the same propositions in their logical connection and order as parts of a system. A doctrinal statement is less absolute in its claims than a dogmatic treatise, it may be more partial than the term systematic would imply. Outside of theology, dogmatic has generally an offensive sense. A dogmatic statement is one for which the author does not trouble himself to give a reason, either because of the strength of his convictions, or because of his contempt for those whom he addresses. Thus dogmatic is, in common use, allied with arrogant and kindred words. End of section 22. Recording by Kate McKenzie. Three of English synonyms and antonyms. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Nicholas James Bridgewater. English synonyms and antonyms by James Champlin Fernald. Doubt to duty. Doubt, verb. Synonyms Distrust, Mistrust, Surmise, Suspect To doubt is to lack conviction. Incompleteness of evidence may compel one to doubt, 
or some perverse bias of mind may incline him to. Distrust may express simply a lack of confidence, as I distrust my own judgment, or it may be nearly equivalent to suspect, as I distrusted that man from the start. Mistrust and suspect imply that one is almost assured of positive evil. One may distrust himself or others. He suspects others. Mistrust is now rarely, if ever used, of persons, but only of motives, intentions, etc. Distrust is always serious. Mistrust is often used playfully. Compare suppose. Compare synonyms for doubt, noun. Antonyms. Believe, confide in, depend on, depend upon, rely on, rely upon, trust. Doubt, noun. Synonyms. Disbelief, distrust, hesitancy, hesitation, incredulity, indecision, irresolution misgiving, perplexity, question, scruple, scepticism, suspense, suspicion, unbelief, uncertainty. Doubt is a lack of conviction that may refer either to matters of belief or to matters of practice. As regards belief, while doubt is lack of conviction, disbelief is conviction, to the contrary, unbelief refers to a settled state of mind, generally accompanied with opposition of heart. Perplexity is active and painful. Doubt may be quiescent. Perplexity presses toward a solution. Doubt may be content to linger unresolved. Any improbable statement awakens incredulity. In the theological usage, unbelief and scepticism have a condemnatory force, as implying willful rejection of manifest truth. As regards practical matters, uncertainty applies to the unknown or undecided. Doubt implies some negative evidence. Suspense regards the future, and is eager and anxious. Uncertainty may relate to any period, and be quite indifferent. Misgiving is ordinarily in regard to the outcome of something already done or decided. Hesitation, indecision, and irresolution have reference to something that remains to be decided or done, and are due oftener to infirmity of will than to lack of knowledge. Distrust and suspicion apply especially to the motives, character, etc. of others and are more decidedly adverse than doubt. Scruple relates to matters of conscience and duty. Antonyms Assurance, belief, certainty, confidence, conviction, decision, determination, persuasion, resolution, resolve. Draw Synonyms Allure, attract, drag entice, haul, incline, induce, lead, lure, pull, tow, tug. One object draws another when it moves it toward itself or in the direction of its own motion by the exertion of adequate force, whether slight or powerful. To attract is to exert a force that tends to draw, though it may produce no actual motion. All objects are attracted toward the earth, though they may be sustained from falling. To drag is to draw against strong resistance, as to drag a sled over bare ground, or a carriage up a steep hill. To pull is to exert a drawing force, whether adequate or inadequate, as the fish pulls on the line, a dentist pulls a tooth, to tug is to draw, or try to draw, a resisting object with a continuous straining motion, as to tug at the oar. To haul is to drag somewhat slowly a heavy object, as to haul a seine. 
to haul logs. One vessel tows another. In the figurative sense, attract is more nearly akin to incline, draw to induce. We are attracted by one's appearance, drawn to his side. Compare allure, array, influence. Antonyms, alienate, estrange, rebuff, reject, repel, repulse. See synonyms for drive. Prepositions to draw water from or out of the well, draw the boat through the water, to the shore, draw air into the lungs, draw with cords of love, the wagon is drawn by horses, along the road, across the field, over the stones, through the woods, to the barn. Dream Synonyms Daydream, fancy, fantasy, hallucination, reverie, romance, trance, vision. A dream is strictly a train of thoughts, fantasies, and images passing through the mind during sleep. A vision may occur when one is awake, and in clear exercise of the senses and mental powers. Vision is often applied to something seen by the mind through supernatural agency, whether in sleep or wakefulness, conceived as more real and authoritative than a dream. A trance is an abnormal state, which is different from normal sleep or wakefulness. A reverie is a purposeless drifting of the mind when awake, under the influence of mental images. A daydream, that which passes before the mind, in such condition. A fancy is some image presented to the mind, often in the fullest exercise of its powers. Hallucination is the seeming perception of non-existent objects, as in insanity or delirium. In the figurative sense, we speak of dreams of fortune, visions of glory, with little difference in meaning, except that the vision is thought of as fuller and more vivid. We speak of trance of delight when emotion almost sweeps one away from the normal exercise of the faculties. Antonyms Certainty Fact Reality Realization Substance Verity Dress Synonyms Apparel Array Attire Clothes Clothing Costume Garb Garments, habiliments, habit, raiment, robes, uniform, vestments, vesture. Clothing denotes the entire covering of the body, taken as a whole. Clothes and garments view it as composed of separate parts. Clothes, clothing, and garments may be used of inner or outer covering. All the other words in the list with possible rare exceptions in the case of raiment, refer to the outer garments. Array, raiment, and vesture are archaic or poetic. So too is habit, except in technical use to denote a lady's riding dress. The word vestments is now rare, except in ecclesiastical use. Apparel and attire are most frequently used of somewhat complete and elegant outer clothing, though Shakespeare speaks of poor and mean attire. Dress may be used specifically for a woman's gown, and in that sense may be either rich or shabby, but in the general sense it denotes outer clothing, which is meant to be elegant, complete, and appropriate to some social or public occasion, as full dress, court dress, evening dress, etc. Dress has now largely displaced apparel and attire. Garb denotes the clothing characteristic of some class, profession, or the like, as the garb of a priest. Costume is chiefly used for that which befits an assumed character, as a theatrical costume. We sometimes speak of a national costume, etc. Antonyms Bareness Disarray Dishabille, exposure, nakedness, nudity, undress.
drive synonyms compel impel propel push repel repulse resist ride thrust urge on to drive is to move an object with some force or violence before or away from oneself it is the direct reverse of draw lead etc a man leads a horse by the halter drives him with whip and rein one may be driven to a thing or from it hence drive is a synonym equally for compel or for repel or repulse repulse is stronger and more conclusive than repel one may be repelled by the very aspect of the person whose favour he seeks but it is not repulsed except by the direct refusal or ignoring of his suit a certain conventional modern usage especially in england requires us to say that we drive in a carriage ride upon a horse though in scripture we read of riding in a chariot two kings nine sixteen jeremiah seventeen twenty five etc good examples of the same usage may be found abundantly in the older english the propriety of a person saying that he is going to drive when he is simply to be conveyed in a carriage where someone else as the coachman does all the driving is exceedingly questionable many good authorities prefer to use ride in the older and broader sense as signifying to be supported and borne along by any means of conveyance compare banish compel influence antonyms see synonyms for draw prepositions drive to market to despair drive into exile from one's presence out of the city drive by with or under the lash drive by or past beautiful estates along the beach beside the river through the park across the field around the square to the door into the barn out of the sunshine duplicate synonyms copy counterpart facsimile imitation likeness replica reproduction transcript a copy is as nearly like the original as the copyist has power to make it a duplicate is exactly like the original a carbon copy of a typewritten document must be a duplicate we may have an inaccurate copy but never an inaccurate duplicate a facsimile is like the original in appearance a duplicate is the same as the original in substance and effect a facsimile of the declaration of independence is not a duplicate a facsimile of a key might be quite useless a duplicate will open the lock a counterpart exactly corresponds to another object but perhaps without design while a copy is intentional an imitation is always thought of as inferior to the original as an imitation of milton a replica is a copy of a work of art by the maker of the original in law a copy of an instrument has in itself no authority the signatures as well as other matters may be copied a duplicate is really an original containing the same provisions and signed by the same persons so that it may have in all respects the same force and effect a transcript is an official copy authenticated by the signature of the proper officer and by the seal of the appropriate court while strictly there could be but one duplicate the word is now extended to an indefinite number of exact copies reproduction is chiefly applied to living organisms antonyms archetype model original pattern prototype duty synonyms accountability business function obligation office responsibility right righteousness 
Etymologically, duty is that which is owed or due. Obligation, that to or by which one is bound. Right, that which is correct, straight, or in the direct line of truth and goodness. Responsibility, that for which one must answer. Duty and responsibility are thought of as to some person or persons. Right is impersonal. One's duty may be to others or to himself. His obligations and responsibilities are to others. Duty arises from the nature of things. Obligation and responsibility may be created by circumstances, as by one's own promise, or by the acceptance of a trust, etc. We speak of a parent's duty, a debtor's obligation, or of a child's duty of obedience, and a parent's responsibility for the child's welfare. Right is that which accords with the moral system of the universe. Righteousness is right incarnated in action. In a more limited sense, right may be used of what one may rightly claim, and so be the converse of duty. It is the creditor's right to demand payment, and the debtor's duty to pay. Compare business. End of section 23. Recording by Nicholas James Bridgewater. Four of English Synonyms and Antonyms. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Read by Dennis Sayers. English Synonyms and Antonyms by James Champlin Fernald. Eager to emigrate. Eager. Synonyms. Animated. Anxious. Ardent. Burning. Desirous. Earnest. Enthusiastic. Fervent. Glowing. Hot. Impatient. Impetuous. Importunate. Intense. Intent. Keen. Longing. Vehement. Yearning. Zealous. One is eager who impatiently desires to accomplish some end. One is earnest with a desire that is less impatient, but more deep, resolute, and constant. One is anxious with a desire that foresees rather the pain of disappointment than the delight of attainment. One is eager for the gratification of any appetite or passion. He is earnest in conviction, purpose, or character. Eager, usually, refers to some specific and immediate satisfaction. Earnest to something permanent and enduring. The patriotic soldier is earnest in his devotion to his country, eager for a decisive battle. Antonyms Apathetic, calm, careless, cold, cool, dispassionate, frigid, heedless, indifferent, negligent, phlegmatic, purposeless, regardless, stolid, stony, stupid, unconcerned, uninterested, unmindful, unmoved. Prepositions. Eager for, more rarely, after favor, honor, etc. Eager in pursuit. Ease. Synonyms. Easiness, expertness, facility, knack, readiness. Ease, in the sense here considered, denotes freedom from conscious or apparent effort, tax or strain. Ease may be either of condition or of action. Facility is always of action. Readiness is of action or of expected action. One lives at ease who has no pressing cares. One stands at ease, moves or speaks with ease, when wholly without constraint. Facility is always active. Readiness may be active or passive. 
The speaker has facility of expression, readiness of wit. Any appliance is in readiness for use. Ease of action may imply merely the possession of ample power. Facility always implies practice and skill. Anyone can press down the keys of a typewriter with ease. Only the skilled operator works the machine with facility. Readiness, in the active sense, includes much of the meaning of ease with the added idea of promptness or alertness. Easiness applies to the thing done rather than to the doer. Expertness applies to the more mechanical processes of body and mind. We speak of the readiness of an orator, but of the expertness of a gymnast. Compare comfortable, dexterity, power. Antonyms. Annoyance, awkwardness, constraint, difficulty. Discomfort, disquiet, irritation, perplexity, trouble, uneasiness, vexation, worry. Education. Synonyms. Breeding, cultivation, culture, development, discipline, information, instruction, knowledge, learning, nurture, Reading, schooling, study, teaching, training, tuition. Education, from the Latin educere, to lead or draw out, is the systematic development of cultivation of the mind and other natural powers. Quote, education is the harmonious development of all our faculties. It begins in the nursery and goes on at school, but does not end there. It continues through life, whether we will or not. Every person, says Gibbon, has two educations, one which he receives from others, and one more important, which he gives himself. End of quote. John Lubbock, The Use of Life, Chapter 7, Page 111. Macmillan, 94. Instruction, the impartation of knowledge by others, from the Latin instruere, or to build in or into, is but a part of education, often the smallest part. Teaching is the more familiar and less formal word for instruction. Training refers not merely to the impartation of knowledge, but to the exercising of one in actions, with the design to form habits. Discipline is systematic and rigorous training, with the idea of subjection to authority, and perhaps of punishment. Tuition is the technical term for teaching as the business of an instructor, or as in the routine of a school. Tuition is narrower than teaching, not like the latter word, including training. Study is emphatically what one does for himself. We speak of the teaching, training, or discipline, but not of the education or tuition of a dog or a horse. Breeding and nurture include teaching and training especially as directed by and dependent upon home life and personal association, breeding having reference largely to manners with such qualities as are deemed distinctively characteristic of high birth, nurture, literally nourishing, having more direct reference to moral qualities, not overlooking the physical and mental. Knowledge and learning tell nothing of mental development apart from the capacity to acquire and remember, and nothing whatever of that moral development which is included in education in its fullest and noblest sense. Learning, too, may be acquired by one's unaided industry, but any full education must be the result in great part of instruction, 
training, and personal association. Study is emphatically what one does for himself, and in which instruction and tuition can only point the way, encourage the student to advance, and remove obstacles. Vigorous, persevering study is one of the best elements of training. Study is also used in the sense of the thing studied, a subject to be mastered by study, a studious pursuit. Compare knowledge, refinement, wisdom. Antonyms. Ignorance, illiteracy. Compare synonyms for ignorant. Effrontery. Synonyms. Assurance, audacity, boldness, brass, hardihood, impudence, insolence, shamelessness. Audacity, in the sense here considered, is a reckless defiance of law, decency, public opinion, or personal rights, claims, or views, approaching the meaning of impudence or shamelessness, but always carrying the thought of the personal risk that one disregards in such defiance. The merely impudent or shameless person may take no thought of consequences, the audacious person recognizes and recklessly braves them. Hardihood defies and disregards the rational judgment of men. Effrontery, from the Latin ephrons, barefaced, shameless, adds to audacity and hardihood the special element of defiance of considerations of propriety, duty, and respect for others yet not to the extent implied in impudence or shamelessness. Impudence disregards what is due to superiors. Shamelessness defies decency. Boldness is forward-stepping courage, spoken of with reference to the presence and observation of others. Boldness, in the good sense, is courage viewed from the outside, but the word is frequently used in an unfavorable sense to indicate a lack of proper sensitiveness and modesty. Compare assurance and brave. Antonyms. Bashfulness, coyness, diffidence, modesty, sensitiveness, shrinking, shyness, timidity. Egotism. Synonyms. Conceit. Egoism. Self-assertion. Self-conceit. Self-confidence. Self-consciousness. Self-esteem. Vanity. Egoism is giving the I undue supremacy in thought. Egotism is giving the I undue prominence in speech. Egotism is sometimes used in the sense of egoism, or supreme regard for oneself. Self-assertion is the claim by word, act, or manner of what one believes to be his due. Self-conceit is an overestimate of one's own powers or deserts. Conceit is a briefer expression for self-conceit with always an offensive implication. Self-conceit is ridiculous or pitiable. Conceit arouses resentment. There is a worthy self-confidence which springs from consciousness of rectitude and of power equal to demands. Self-assertion at times becomes a duty, but self-conceit is always a weakness. Self-consciousness is the keeping of one's thoughts upon oneself with the constant anxious question of what others will think. Vanity is an overweening admiration of self, craving equal admiration from others. Self-consciousness is commonly painful to its possessor, vanity always a source of satisfaction, except as it fails to receive its supposed due. Self-esteem is 
more solid and better founded than self-conceit, but is ordinarily a weakness, and never has the worthy sense of self-confidence. Compare assurance, pride. Antonyms, bashfulness, deference, diffidence, humility, modesty, self-distrust, self-forgetfulness, shyness, unobtrusiveness, unostentatiousness. Emblem. Synonyms. Attribute, figure, image, sign, symbol, token, type. Emblem is the English form of emblema, a Latin word of Greek origin signifying a figure beaten out on a metallic vessel by blows from within, also a figure inlaid in wood, stone, or other material as a copy of some natural object. The Greek word symbolon denoted a victor's wreath, a check, or any object that might be compared with or found to correspond with another, whether there was or not anything in the objects compared to suggest the comparison. Thus an emblem resembles, a symbol represents. An emblem has some natural fitness to suggest that for which it stands. A symbol has been chosen or agreed upon to suggest something else, with or without natural fitness. A sign does actually suggest the thing with or without reason, and with or without intention or choice. A symbol may be also an emblem. Thus the elements of bread and wine in the Lord's Supper are both appropriate emblems and his own chosen symbols of suffering and death. A statement of doctrine is often called a symbol of faith, but it is not an emblem. On the other hand, the same thing may be both a sign and a symbol. A letter of the alphabet is a sign which indicates a sound, but letters are often used as mathematical, chemical, or astronomical symbols. A token is something given or done as a pledge or expression of feeling or intent. While the sign may be unintentional, the token is voluntary. Kind looks may be signs of regard. A gift is a token. A ring, which is a natural emblem of eternity, and also its accepted symbol, is frequently given as a token of friendship or love. A figure, in the sense here considered, is something that represents an idea to the mind, somewhat as a form is represented to the eye, as in drawing, painting, or sculpture. As representing a future reality, a figure may be practically the same as a type. An image is a visible representation, especially in sculpture, having or supposed to have a close resemblance to that which it represents. A type is, in religion, a representation of a greater reality to come. We speak of one object as the type of the class whose characteristics it exhibits, as in the case of animal or vegetable types. An attribute in art is some accessory used to characterize a figure or scene. The attribute is often an emblem or symbol. Thus the eagle is the attribute of St. John as an emblem of lofty spiritual vision. Compare sign. Immigrate. Synonyms. Immigrate, migrate. To migrate is to change one's dwelling place, usually with the idea of repeated change, or of periodical return. 
It applies to wandering tribes of men and to many birds and animals. Emigrate and immigrate carry the idea of a permanent change of residence to some other country or some distant region. The two words are used distinctively of human beings and apply to the same person and the same act, according to the side from which the action is viewed. Prepositions. A person emigrates from the land he leaves. He immigrates to the land where he takes up his abode. End of section 24. Read by Dennis Sayers in Modesto, California, for LibriVox. Section 25 of English Synonyms and Antonyms. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by James O'Connor. English Synonyms and Antonyms by James Champlin Fernald. Employ to Enmity. Employ. Synonyms. Call. Engage engross hire make use of use use up in general terms it may be said that to employ is to devote to one's purpose to use is to render subservient to one's purpose what is used is viewed as more absolutely an instrument than what is employed a merchant employs a clerk he uses pen and paper as a rule, use is not said of persons except in a degrading sense, as the conspirators used him as a go-between. Hence the expression common in some religious circles, that God would use me, is not to be commended. It also has the fault of representing the human worker as absolutely a passive and helpless instrument. The phrase is altogether unscriptural. The scripture says, We are laborers together with, co-workers with, God. That which is used is often consumed in the using, or in familiar phrase, used up, as we used twenty tons of coal last winter. In such cases we could not substitute employ. A person may be employed in his own work, or in that of another, in the latter case the service is always understood to be for pay in this connection employ is a word of more dignity than hire a general is employed in his country's service a mercenary adventurer is hired to fight a tyrant's battles it is unsuitable according to present usage to speak of hiring a pastor the scripture indeed says of the preacher the laborer is worthy of his hire. But this sense is archaic, and hire now implies that the one hired works directly and primarily for the pay, as expressed in the noun hireling. A pastor is properly said to be called, or when the business side of the transaction is referred to, engaged, or possibly employed at a certain salary. Prepositions employ in on upon or about a work business etc for a purpose at a stipulated salary in verb synonyms break off cease close complete conclude desist expire finish quit stop terminate wind up that ends or is ended of which there is no more whether or not more was intended or needed that is closed completed concluded or finished which has come to an expected or appropriate end a speech may be ended almost as soon as begun because of the speaker's illness or of tumult in the audience in such a case the speech is neither closed completed nor finished nor in the strict sense concluded 
an argument may be closed with nothing proved when an argument is concluded all that is deemed necessary to prove the point has been stated to finish is to do the last thing there is to do as i have finished my course second timothy fourth verse seven finish has come to mean not merely to complete in the essentials but to perfect in all the minute details as in the expression to add the finishing touches the enumeration is completed the poem the picture the statue is finished to terminate may be either to bring to an arbitrary or to an appropriate end as he terminated his remarks abruptly the spire terminates in a cross a thing stops that comes to rest from motion or the motion stops or ceases when the object comes to rest stop frequently signifies to bring or come to a sudden and decided cessation of motion progress or action of any kind compare to do transact antonyms see synonyms for begin end noun synonyms accomplishment achievement bound boundary cessation close completion conclusion consequence consummation design effect expiration extent extremity finale fini finish fulfillment goal intent issue limit outcome period point purpose result termination terminus tip utmost uttermost the end is the terminal part of a material object that has length the extremity is distinctively the terminal point and may thus be but part of the end in the general sense of that word the extremity is viewed as that which is most remote from some center or some mean or standard position the southern end of south america includes all patagonia the southern extremity or point is cape horn tip has nearly the same meaning as extremity but is said of small or slight and tapering objects as the tip of the finger point in such connections is said of that which is drawn out to exceeding fineness or sharpness as the point of a needle a fork or a sword extremity is said of something considerable we do not speak of the extremity of a needle terminus is chiefly used to designate the end of a line of travel or transportation specifically the furthermost station in any direction on a railway or by extension the town or village where it is situated termination is the latin and more formal word for the saxon end but is chiefly used of time words undertakings or abstractions of any kind expiration signifies the coming to an end in the natural course of things as the expiration of a year or of a lease it is used of things of some consequence we do not ordinarily speak of the expiration of an hour or of a day limit implies some check to or restraint upon further advance right or privilege as the limits of an estate compared to boundary a goal is an end sought or striven for as in a race for the figurative senses of end and its associated words compare the synonyms for the verb end also for aim consequence design antonyms see synonyms for beginning endeavor verb synonyms attempt essay strive try undertake to attempt is to take action somewhat experimentally with the hope and purpose of accomplishing a certain result to endeavor is to attempt strenuously and with firm and enduring purpose 
To attempt expresses a single act. To endeavor, a continuous exertion. We say, I will endeavor, not I will attempt, while I live. To attempt is with the view of accomplishing. To essay with the view of testing our own powers. To undertake is to accept or take upon oneself as an obligation, as some business, labor, or trust. The word often implies complete assurance of success, as I will undertake to produce the witness. To strive suggests little of the result, much of toil, strain, and contest in seeking it. I will strive to fulfill your wishes, i.e., that is, I will spare no labor and exertion to do it. Try is the most comprehensive of these words. The original idea of testing or experimenting is not thought of when a man says, I will try. To attempt suggests giving up, if the thing is not accomplished at a stroke. To try implies using other means and studying out other ways if not at first successful. Endeavor is more mild and formal. The pilot in the burning pilot house does not say, I will endeavor or I will attempt to hold the ship to her course, but I'll try, sir. Antonyms. Abandon, dismiss, drop, give up, let go, neglect, omit, overlook, pass by, throw away, throw over, throw up. Endeavor. Noun. Synonyms. Attempt. Effort. Essay, exertion, struggle, trial. Effort denotes the voluntary putting forth of power to attain or accomplish some specific thing. It reaches toward a definite end. Exertion is a putting forth of power without special reference to an object. Every effort is an exertion, but not every exertion is an effort. Attempt is more experimental than effort. Endeavor less strenuous, but more continuous. An effort is a single act. An endeavor a continued series of acts. An endeavor is sustained and enduring and may be lifelong. We do not have a society of Christian attempt or of Christian effort, but of Christian endeavor. A struggle is a violent effort or strenuous exertion. An essay is an attempt, effort, or endeavor made as a test of the powers of the one who makes it. Compare to endeavor, verb. Endure. Synonyms. Abide. Afford. Allow. Bear. Bear up under. Bear with. Brook. Permit. Put up with. Submit to. Suffer. Support sustain, tolerate, undergo. Bear is the most general of these words. It is metaphorically to hold up or keep up a burden of care, pain, grief, annoyance, or the like, without sinking, lamenting, or repining. Allow and permit involve large concession of the will. Put up with and tolerate imply decided aversion and reluctant withholding of opposition or interference. Whispering is allowed by the school teacher, who does not forbid nor censure it. One puts up with the presence of a disagreeable visitor. A state tolerates a religion which it would be glad to suppress. To endure is to bear with strain and resistance, but with conscious power. Endure conveys a fuller suggestion of contest and conquest than bear. One may choose to endure the pain of a surgical operation rather than take anesthetics. He permits the thing to come which he must brace himself to endure when it comes. To afford is to be equal to a pecuniary demand, i.e., that is, to be able to bear it. To brook is quietly to put up with provocation or insult. Abide combines the senses of await and endure as I will abide the result. Compare to abide, support. Antonyms. Break, 
break down, despair, droop, fail, faint, fall, falter, give out, give up, sink, succumb, surrender, yield. Enemy, synonyms, adversary, antagonist, competitor, foe, opponent, rival. An enemy in private life is one who is moved by hostile feeling with active disposition to injure, but in military language all who fight on the opposite side are called enemies, or collectively the enemy, where no personal animosity may be implied. Foe, which is rather a poetical and literary word, implies intensely hostile spirit and purpose. An antagonist is one who opposes and is opposed actively and with intensity of effort. An opponent, one in whom the attitude of resistance is the more prominent. A competitor, one who seeks the same object for which another is striving. Antagonists in wrestling, competitors in business, opponents in debate, may contend with no personal ill will. Rivals in love, ambition, etc., rarely avoid inimical feeling. Adversary was formerly much used in the general sense of antagonist or opponent, but is now less common and largely restricted to the hostile sense. An adversary is ordinarily one who not only opposes another in fact, but does so with hostile spirit, or perhaps out of pure malignity as the great adversary. Compare synonyms for ambition. Antonyms. A better. Accessory. Accomplice. Ally. Friend. Helper. Supporter. Prepositions. He was the enemy of my friend in the contest. Enmity. Synonyms. Acrimony animosity antagonism bitterness hatred hostility ill will malevolence malice malignity rancor spite enmity is a state of being an enemy or the feeling and disposition characterizing an enemy compared to enemy animosity denotes a feeling more active and vehement but often less enduring and determined than enmity. Enmity distinctly recognizes its object as an enemy, to be met or dealt with accordingly. Hostility is enmity in action. The term hostilities between nations denotes actual armed collision. Bitterness is a resentful feeling arising from a belief that one has been wronged. Acrimony is a kindred feeling but deeper and more persistent, and may arise from the crossing of one's wishes or plans by another, where no injustice or wrong is felt. Antagonism, as between two competing authors or merchants, does not necessarily imply enmity, but ordinarily suggests a shade, at least, of hostile feeling. Malice is a disposition or intent to injure others for the gratification of some evil passion. Malignity is intense and violent enmity, hatred, or malice. Compare synonyms for acrimony, anger, hatred. Antonyms. Agreement. Alliance. Amity. Concord. Friendship. Harmony. Kindliness. Kindness. Regard. Sympathy. End of section 25. Recording by James O'Connor, Randolph, Massachusetts, December 2009.